Hey, I'm David Sanchez, day three, C2E2, wrapping this up, finish it off with, here you go, here's Danny, creator, owner of Space Mullet. Danny, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, how are you? Yeah, thanks for having us, bro. Yeah. You want to tell the viewers about Space Mullet? Uh, yeah, so it's a uh, science fiction webcomic. Uh, it's about uh, a guy with mullets, his name's Jonah, he's an ex-space marine, he's kind of washed up, washed out, and his co-pilot, Alpheus. So, yeah, it's a good time. It's really fun. It's like science fiction. There's like 80 pages on the internet now that you can read for free. So, so why should we buy our stuff? Well, I put a lot of time into the artwork. Like, All right. a lot of time. All right, fun day. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. Danny's eyes and details, were the 90s responsible for that? Yes. You, yes, tell us about the 90s and what they did for you. Up, 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 sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta speak loud. Um, gosh, 90s. The 90s introduced pouches to me. So like you know Rob Liefeld, you know with all that like stuff on him. The 90s X-Men, definitely. Oh, yeah. So what about the image stuff, Tom and Fine, and that can get into your work. Yeah. Oh yeah, Liefeld though, like the aesthetic of Liefeld, like definitely I think has a. This is the only other guy aside from me that I know that says something positive about Rob Liefeld. I love Liefeld. You know. But how tired are we of this shit now? Well, but I mean, like, it's okay. he draws what he wants to draw, and he's like, he's awesome. I mean, and, and it's because of his kind of like, he drew characters that were like super like heavy, had a lot of weight. Kind of introduced that like big hulking guy, you know, yeah. uh, or look, the look, the, the characterization, the extreme characterization yeah. of the anatomy with the long legs that yeah. went into the ground. You know, you never saw them. But like, you know, and, he has a style, and I just think, I mean. I can't speak ill of him because I like his work and then, I mean like, I grew up with Liefeld and like I grew up with Jim Lee and so they're huge influences and I don't really like superhero stuff anymore but I mean just the whole aesthetic of that kind of like ridiculousness okay. kind of makes its way into my work. You're one of the few illustrators that have actually gone beyond the comic book world and you're actually doing some storyboarding? Yeah, I do storyboards for like corporate clients for some advertising. So you um, start for like soap? Like what kind of stuff do you do? Gosh, there's a company, there's like a boutique men's outfitters in Chicago, it's called Trunk Club. Okay. I do a bunch of storyboarding for them. Um, I did some storyboarding with Trisec. Uh, Trisec's a good place. Yeah, yeah, it's a great place. Okay, now do you feel ashamed of saying that you're storyboarding for underwear? Like, <laughs> like do you talk about it a lot? Do you talk about it a lot when you're like in the, in the illustrator? For like, for like underwear or for like, because it's, I mean, I know that they, the Trunk Club like sells clothes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's specifically underwear. I'm sure they send you underwear too. Yeah. It's like a service where, like, you know, you call up and you're, you have a personal stylist. Yeah. It's like, hey, I'm going on a boat cruise. I need uh, a trunk of clothes. And they send you everything. They send you whole outfits. So I'm, I'm kind of like illustrating customer experience. Okay, so aside from uh, that, yeah. <laughs> what were your inspirations for sci fi, for space model? Gosh, well, Star Wars, of course. Um, Firefly. I like the idea of having a very vast world, but telling a very human story. So very like, yeah, very popular. Um, and then Mass Effect as well. I started this. I started writing this right after I finished Mass Effect Three. So yeah. And I kind of actually, I wanted to go against the grain. So instead of like having like a sci-fi hero that's like got a scar across his face, and it's like a, a total badass. I wanted to have somebody that was a little bit like chunkier and had a mullet. It was kind of weird. It's kind of a loser. And hopefully that people will be able to Wait, connect because to Because you have a mother automatically? Well, it's kind of out of style. I think you just tuned out an entire demograph right there. <laughs> you know, they're going to come back eventually. I'm not going to wear one. How long will. have you been pushing space mode? Since July last year. How long have you been with uh, Since July last year. I call that a good career, man. I call that a good start, bro. Thank you. You can do great things, man. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you for having me. Go ahead, pitch yourself, tell the Twitter, tell us about the Facebook, just shoot it all into that camera. Yeah, uh, space-bullet.com. If you uh, Google it, it's just Space Bullet's the first thing that comes up. Read it. It's fun. It's sci-fi. You have a good time. Thank you.